Hi, this is Eric Smith, creator of the Citrus Engine. Uh, I've created uh, something I'm calling the Cool Console uh, that I wanted to share with you uh, in hopes that maybe you um, have a game project or a website project that you can find this useful for. Um, it's called the Cool Console, and basically what it does is uh, when you hit a specified key, uh, it, this console opens up over your project where you can type commands. As soon as I hit enter, it's going to um, activate that command and do certain things for me. Uh, now, some of you know that I uh, work for Sony on PlayStation 3 games, and um, in the, the games that we make over in the console world, um, this is a necessity, for, especially for game designers and for quickly testing and doing certain things because uh, build times are so long. Uh, but this isn't something that I've seen um, very often in Flash, and it's extremely useful. And I'll show you a few ways um, how it could be useful, especially in cases uh, like this here at the Citrus Engine. So um, uh, what I can do is I'll show you uh, one thing that I've hooked up into it. It's the set command. And now if I call set and then I um, specify hero1, who is this guy right here, um, then uh, I can specify a property on him such as width and then I hit space and then I can say let's say a hundred now as soon as I hit enter you can see that his little bounding box became a hundred wide now that's something I would normally have to go into the code or the XML for it to go change I can also do cool things like um, if I open up the console again I can hit the up key and it'll show me my previous command and uh, it actually keeps all of my command history in there up to 25 commands um, so that you can quickly go and make changes let's say I want to take them back down to something like 30 um, I can also do cool stuff like set um, hero1's jump height to let's say 700 and now he'll jump much higher so some pretty cool stuff you can also do this command um, called make and then I can specify, let's say, a coin, com.citrusengine.machines.coin, and then give it a name like C1. And then what, I, what happens is a little coin gets made right there, and my guy can go grab it. So uh, some pretty cool stuff. Uh, if you want to stick around, I'm going to show you how you can actually implement this uh, on your own. So. Um, what I have here is a, basically an empty project. All it does is just uh, scale the stage and align it to the top left. Um, and then uh, the only other thing that I've done is actually imported the cool console action script file. Now the cool console action script file is, extends sprite, so you would just add it like you would expect. You can say var cool console and then type it as cool console equals new cool console and then what I do is I specify the key that I want to use to toggle it open and close I like to use the tab key and then I just add it to the stage and then the only other thing that I need to do is add my commands that I'm actually listening for so what I do is I specify the cool console object and then I say add command and then I specify the command name that I want to add. So I can say, let's say print. And then I uh, specify a function that gets called when uh, the print command gets called. So I can say on print command. And then down here, I'm just going to specify that function. And for the arguments, what um, actually gets passed in here are all of the arguments that happen uh, after print which um, is space delimited. So if somebody said print space dog, then um, I could say like arg1 string, dog would be arg1. So um, all of the commands that happen after the print command turn into arguments, uh, much like something that you might see in Max terminal or the command in Windows. So um, if I'm only expecting print to have one command usually, then I'll just say arg1, and you can really name this anything you want. You could name it, you know, something else. Um, 
And then all I do, I'll just trace this out for you. But you could really do anything with this. And that's really the point is to hook up your own commands to quickly be able to um, do cool things like I showed you with the Citrus Engine really quickly. Um, so now that the I have the print command set up, I will publish this and show you here. So I'll bring up the console with tab, and then I'll type print, and then I'll say something like, um, hello world. And as soon as I do that, you can see down here, hello world traces out, which is what I asked it to do right here. So let me go back to the Flash console here, and uh, you can see I hit tab to open it up, and then I hit the up key to see my past history. And I can change this to something else. So now, hello world and something else comes out. So you can see how this can be uh, very useful. You can always add as many commands as you'd like. Just like this. And then I would add to do something handler. Anyway, I hope that you find that useful. Feel free to download it if you uh, like it. And uh, thank you very much.